Hi, this is Katie Fehrenbacher with the Green Overdrive Show, and we're here in Livermore, California with Al Bullock, who's an entrepreneur and who put together this electric green Volkswagen. So tell me what uh, drove you to electrify your VW? I started out making electric scooters go farther by adding lithium ion batteries to it, and at some point I decided, why not do it with a car? And I've always had an interest in Volkswagens, used to own quite a few of them, and I thought, gee, I'll try it. So I looked around, found one, bought it, restored it, and then converted it. And how long have you been driving this around? I've been driving it almost three years. I've got about 25,000 miles on it. No noise, no cost, uh, with the uh, solar on the house, charge the car at night, doesn't cost me. I just, my wife loves it, so we go everywhere, and it's our everyday car. Tell me a little bit about the specs, so the range and okay, all that Okay, specifications, uh, it's a 220 amp hour battery pack. Uh, it has 29 kilowatt hours. Uh, I have over 6,000 lithium ion 18650 cells all soldered together in uh, eight packs uh, with a charger and a large um, Impulse 9 DC series motor. Okay and the standard transmission four speed and no clutch. The half of the pack is in the front for weight distribution. The other pack is in the back behind the rear seat to maintain a four passenger car. All right, so that's very rare that uh, very an rare. EV still maintains its seat capacity, right? Most people take out the back seat and fill it with the lead acid batteries and they add about 2,000 pounds. I've added less than 600 pounds. All right, so what are we looking at? Well, what you have here is the uh, series DC wound uh, net gain impulse nine motor. And they have a uh, blower on here with an air cleaner to keep the insides of the motor clean. This is the uh, microprocessor based controller, 1000 amp and two fans to cool it off. And that's the key if these things get hot, then the controller starts to limit the amount of amperage to the motor. This puts out 1000 watts, which is considerably more po power than a stock Volkswagen. And you have the contactor here, which is the main power on and off. A reverse contactor, so the car goes backwards electrically, not with a reverse gear. Uh, manual on and off switch. Same amount. Wow. Just uh, configured a little bit different. Uh, back there I have uh, eight of them separate. Here's only four separate. So tell me about the performance aspects. How fast does it go? What's it's actually got a lot more power than a regular Volkswagen. Uh, it does not have a clutch. So if you decide you want to shift, you shift without a clutch and it shifts very easily because it has no flywheel, no pressure plate, no throw out bearing. Um, normally I always drive in second gear, which is from zero to about 60 miles an hour. Okay. If I'm out on the freeway and I want to keep up with the traffic, I'll go into third gear and I've taken it up as high as 85, a little over 85 miles an hour, it'll still go faster. And of course you could put it in the fourth. Volkswagens don't want to go any faster than that. They're too yeah. small and light of a yeah. car. Range, range would be between approximately 75 miles and 125 miles. Okay. How much investment do you think you put into it? Uh, total probably about 18,000 altogether. Can we take it around the block? Oh, sure. Voltage meter shows that we have battery voltage for the car of 15 volts. We have battery pack voltage here of 124 volts. This is a gear shift. We really don't need to use that. We flip the switch to reverse and we wait until the people are out of the way. Now we can shift if we want, but there's no need to if you can do it electrically. And this is your battery pack voltage. Shows you that as you accelerate the voltage comes down because it's using more power. Mm -hmm. So this is basically your range in indicator? That is your range indicator. That's the key because when it gets down to about 80 volts uh, you want to have this thing parked somewhere. Okay. Otherwise you'll damage the batteries and there's no recovering of the batteries. Well, you drive it just like any other car. Yeah. You know I drive left foot on the brake and right foot on the accelerator and you know. Oh we got some pickup. <laughs> So you have more than enough power. You can climb any kind of a hill. Of course, we're just in second gear. Yeah. So but basically, this car costs less than the Nissan Leaf total. About half, half the price. Half the price of the Nissan Leaf, but it has the same range. Same range. 
It doesn't have the comfort though. <laughs> the Leaf has, it has, the yeah, Leaf, it's Leaf has air conditioning and has heating. But it doesn't have style like <laughs> this is. <laughs> doesn't have nostalgia either, does yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> true.